Metaglass is made through a process of heating and expanding the duplex 2205 stainless steel ring and inside of that ring placing a basically a precision measured chunk of borosilicate glass. It goes through a, a superheating process which expands the ring and basically melts the glass to a molten state. It's at such a high temperature that the glass literally fuses to the inside surface of the ring. After the fusion has taken place, the ring moves on into a cooling phase and the ring will actually shrink. Now because of the different thermal coefficients of expansion, the glass actually hardens faster than the ring can get back to its original size. The glass is kept in a state of compression, but the ring itself is kept in a constant state of tension. Well, you want compression on the glass because the compression is what actually gives the product its strength. The fusion that's created during the manufacturing process is a byproduct. It doesn't actually give it any of its strength. The strength from the unit is because of that compressive force in on the glass. Glass is generally measured in tensile strength. Once a piece of glass has reached its tensile strength, it can actually shatter. With a piece of glass that's kept in, in compression, a fused piece of glass, that ten tensile strength is much higher to the point where we've taken pieces like this one that is rated for 150 PSI. We've actually overpressurized it to about 8,000 PSI. And what the glass experiences is a bending moment, and that bending moment travels basically through the surface of the glass and into the ring itself. So it doesn't allow that glass to rupture or fragment and be released into the operator's face or into the process. On this particular demo piece, the inside surface or the process face of the glass is completely unfazed by the overpressurization.